Today, we ask the question, what's it like when your student moves off to post-secondary? I'm Mercedes, and this is All in the Ramily. The transition to post-secondary can be a really challenging time in a student's life. It can seem almost impossible to ask all the right questions, get all the right answers, and stay on top of the process from start to finish. You might be asking yourself how your relationship with your child might change when they move away from home and how you can help to ease that transition. Well, you've come to the right place. I would like to introduce all of you to my wonderful mother, Bonnie. Thank you so much for coming on to All in the Ramley today. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. So just to start off, Ramley is your Ryerson family. So the first thing I wanted to talk about was what my move-in day was like. Um, move-in day was hard for me. Um, I was glad that I went on the tour with you to see the, the campus and get a feel for what Ryerson was going to be like before you actually came to move here. I felt like we spent a couple of days. Um, it wasn't like a one day thing. We came early and we, we settled you in in like maybe two, over a spread of two days. Yeah. And then uh, it was great until uh, your roommate came. And you had already met your roommate on Facebook or online and you had this bond already. When she came in the door, you guys just embraced and that was it. Like, that was it. Mom, mom, that was cute, cute to leave. Oh, uh, no, no, that's okay. That's part of like being a parent, part of knowing, okay, <laughs> this isn't a, you know, inclusive thing where mom's going to stay around. Um, this is, you're going off to university and I'm, and I'm heading home. So how did it feel having me move out of the house? It was uh, hard. It was exciting, but it was hard. And I think um, for me as a parent, and maybe other parents can relate, like you have moments throughout your kid's life where you watch them go off. So, um, whether it's, I'm sorry. I know, it's okay. Okay, so whether it's like going off to daycare or first day of school or first day at your job or um, first day at uni and it's great. Like you wanna, you wanna raise your kids so they fly and, and they go. But it's, it's hard. I'll never forget that night that you didn't come back home. Like that was, a, that was a rough night for me. Um, and I'll, I'll never forget that day as I would never forget the first day you went off to school or graduated grade eight or graduated high school. So it was like, it was this juxtaposition of like, you know, knowing I was doing the right thing by encouraging you to go, but it was, it was hard. No doubt, it was hard. <laughs> So when it comes to trust and communication, um, how did we navigate that? What were some things that changed in our relationship on the communication level? Well, I love the technology we have today because yeah. I can, as much as people can put down social media, Facebook, Instagram. You text me every day without every, fail. So that yeah, was every fun. night I, I felt I needed it. I wanted to text you. I wanted you to know I was thinking of you. All my life, we've had an incredible relationship. I've always felt completely comfortable talking to you about everything, just really bearing my heart and soul. Honestly, actually, I don't think I can keep a secret from you. Somehow, like, you'll ask me, like, what happened in your day today? And I'll be like, bleh. Like, I need to just, like, tell you, like, everything. Um, and that didn't change when I moved away, for sure. When anything happened, that was, like, a big deal. Like, if, you know, like, like a fight went down at a party, if I was having drama, yes. with my friends, whatever was going on, I felt like I really kept you in the loop. And for me, that was like integral because I needed somebody who not only really understood me and all the problems that I've been through in my life before, but also just like a grounded adult to tell me like, hey, it's all gonna be okay. It's gonna be over in a week. Don't worry about it. There comes a point where I think you just, you gotta trust that uh, as a parent that you, you've kind of instilled good values and morals in your kid. I felt for me, just always either giving you the permission or to call me if you needed at any time, to access to my, to my credit card 
if you needed to Uber home, I would rather have you be safe at three in the morning than walking home alone because everyone ditched you for another party or for another club and you're tired. So my question for you is, how did you navigate meal planning? All the ramen. <laughs> <laughs> so I did all my grocery shopping by myself, all my cooking by myself, um, and this was really new to me because all my life you have cooked for me. Um, and you're the type of mom who you'd make me lunch every single day for school and send me off to class with my brown paper bag. And I, I literally never had to do that for myself. And yeah, like I know how to turn on a stove and I know how to boil water, but like, do I know how to cook chicken? No. So <laughs> I sort of wish that some of those skills had been instilled in me earlier. I was just thinking that. Um, and I do think it's a valuable lesson uh, yes. to, you know, sit down with your child and be like, this is how much pasta you need for one person because the amount of times I've made way too much pasta <laughs> is <laughs> uncountable. Did you have a budget for, for the meals and the food? I tried to at the beginning because obviously I, I had my, my budget before I came into school. Mm -hmm. um, but when it came down to it, I actually ended up spending a lot less money than I thought I would. Mm -hmm. I think because I was trying to save money in so many other areas yeah. that it was just kind of like, why would I spend $8 on hummus when I can just like, I don't know, have ketchup. Yeah. <laughs> like, not that they're the same thing at all, yeah. but I just like, I wasn't really thinking about eating the same way that I do when I'm at home. Right. Because it's just like, oh, the food's just there. That's all the time we have for today on All in the Ramley. Thanks so much, Mom, for coming in. So if you and your family have questions about transitioning to Ryerson, we'd love to hear them. Visit at YRyerson on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and on our blog to ask questions, stay up to date on important information, and get an inside look at life in Toronto. See you next time.